Welcome back to another episode. All right, so today I want to demonstrate how you can load your images from Google Photos to your WordPress powered website. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, if you have a very limited storage capacity on your server, you don't necessarily want to have all your images there because images take up a lot of space. So one easy way, you know, to deal with the situation is to load your images from an external source. So today's episode is going to highlight and focus on Google Photos. Obviously, there's other ways to go about doing this. You know, some involve plugins, some involve getting CDNs or other storage locations, but this one's just using Google Photos. All right, so now in order to do this, how do we get started? Well, you need your, to log into your Gmail account, obviously, right? And then you're going to upload your photos to Google Photos. So it's just photos.google.com. And then from there, you can choose an image. I'm choosing this one as a demonstration. And it's, you know, pretty funny. It says, my realtor said, if I don't clean my house, the only visitors I'll have are blind out, blindfolded people coming to shoot up for Breeze commercial. Sounds about right. All right, so I'm going to right click here and you can copy image address. All right, so what you just did is copy the image address, obviously. And now you have that on your clipboard. All right, so now you can go into your WordPress powered website. I'm on my local host, so I'm going to go to my dashboard. I'm going to go to all posts. And I'm going to go to this uh, hello world post right there. And then here, when it says add media, I'm going to go instead of choosing my uploads folder or my media library, I'm going to go into insert from URL. I will paste in the URL that I just copied to my clipboard. And now you see the image pops up. All right, so now I'm going to put in some alt text because you should always fill that in. Insert into post, update. And then once it's done updating, you'll just view the post to make sure it worked. And as you can see, I just up, um, I'm utilizing the image from Google Photos and not from my local uh, WP uh, dash content folder in my uploads folder. So now let me just look at the source code here. All right, so now I'm in my in, uh, developer tools on Google Chrome, and I see the image class, and the source is the URL to the Google Photos. And you see that it has it f fully right there. So now this is a very quick and easy way, you know, to add images from an external source reduces the amount of items stored on your hosting account and server, and it gives you the functionality you 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 need. It's you know it's a great way. It's uh, you know free to use. You don't even have to install a plugin for it. You could install a plugin that'll do all of this for you, but you know this is just a very simple way to go about doing that. All right, so now I just want to check some other things out. And in particular, I want to see, obviously, if this is available, you know, from another you from another browser when I'm not logged in to my Google account. Because that's a question. You might say, well, wait, is this available if you're not logged in? So in order to do that, I'm going to bring up an incognito window. All right, so I now I have that. I still have the URL saved to my clipboard. Press Enter. And as you can see, the image comes in. I'm not logged in over here because this is incognito and the image is still available and because that's because this is publicly facing you can change the privacies of these photos but you know this is a publicly facing image on your Google Photos account so you know that goes to show you that you know it is possible for you to depend and rely on Google Photos to deliver the images you want you know to your WordPress powered website um, hopefully you found this ep episode helpful where I demonstrated how you can you know use the Google Photos um, service in order to serve images to your website and save yourself uh, some bandwidth and storage capacity on your hosting accounts. You know, finding these cost-effective ways are always helpful, and I just wanted to share this tip with you. If you found the episode helpful, give us a thumbs up and help us out by subscribing to the channel if you found it useful. And don't forget to leave a comment down below uh, since I'll be, you know, taking a look at those and seeing how I can answer your questions either there or in another video. Again, don't forget to thumbs up. Subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.